Alright you guys, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 8 best loadouts right now here in Warzone. I got you guys a couple of guns that has the lowest recoil here in Warzone, especially to give you guys the best setup for them. If you guys do enjoy today's video, man, really do drop a like, hit the subscribe, and guys, a brand new comment down below, and let's get right into the class mm -hmm. setup for them. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the first gun we're going to be talking about is the STG, which I 100% say that it actually have is probably one of the lowest recoils for the Vanguard category. Now, it's always about just how you build the gun. So, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the muzzle, and I think the best muzzle for the SCG has got to be is the MX Silencer, which as he does have is probably one of the best pros for the SCG, especially for his vertical recoil control, his damage trains. It's really good at his range. You just got to find out what's the best muzzle. And I think 100% it's got to be the MX Silencer. Now, coming down to the barrel, I 100% say it got to be it's the 760mm barrel, which is by far one of the best barrels that actually doesn't have no type of damage drop off which is probably going to be the best bro for the SCG. So a lot of people might say it's got to be just a little precision, but it does reduce it's your body damage, which you do not want for any of your guns. So I will 100% say you got to please put on this D-second barrel. Now, coming down to the optic, I legit, I like to play Reaper for a lot. So the best optic for me, it got to be is the G16. Now, if you are playing, it's like maybe it's Caldera, probably whatsoever. There is an optic, which I will actually probably explain a little bit in this, which if I can actually find it, it's got to be is the SVT scope, which is good if you want to put it on for Rebirth, but it's really no necessarily since majority is like a close range map, and especially we're going to be getting like a new map in like in a couple weeks. So I would probably say if you are like some Rebirth people, you guys already know, man, please put on the G16 optic scope. Now, coming down to the stock itself, you guys got to rock this, of course, is the last one, which is actually is the way to start. Now, you guys, as you can see, it helps out with the accuracy, your flinch resistance, your recoil control, and especially the number one thing is your aim and stability. Now, coming down to the perk category is legit probably the only best two perks for ever legit coming down to the vanguard category now your perk ones is always going to be different for whatever type of guns that you obviously put it on now the best perk for the scg i would probably say is got to be is your nerve of steel because you guys as you can see from the pro is that she does help us with your accuracy your recoil while injured and this is actually is good for whenever you take like long distance type of range shots your accuracy can just stay on point now majority i would kind of say might put on maybe as focus but you still would just want the boost of your accuracy and your recoil control while taking shots. Now, you will be taking a little bit of hits, but I'm going to be helping you guys out a little, bit, a little bit later on. So, of course, now coming down for the perk 2. It's up, you guys, but of course, for me, I like to put on maybe it's fully loaded. It's really no other point of any of these other perks besides maybe it's on hands, which you are as you get your ADS speed, and of course, you can swap weapons faster whatsoever. But I just don't think it's really necessary since his majority of just his AR build. Now, coming down for the rear grip, it's up to you guys, but of course, for me, I would like to put on maybe his leather grip, which actually does help us with your aim and outside speed and your aim and stability. But if you guys don't really care about your ADS speed a lot, because None of these Vanguard guns have like a slow ADS speed, if you know what I mean. It's really no point. I would probably maybe put on maybe it's a stipple grip, probably maybe it's your polymer grip, or probably it's got to be is your, uh, which is the other one? Oh, it's your rubber grip. So it's really just up to you on which type of ones. But for me, I like to always have on is maybe it's like it's your leather grip for any type of assault rifle, or maybe it's just going to be it's your stipple grip. So, it's all up to you on what type of rear grip you guys want. I tell you oh, which one I think is personally is the best in my opinion. But, of course, for the SCG, I got to maybe just rock out with the leather grip. Now, coming up to the magazine. It's up to you guys on really which one you 100% want to use. But, I will still think to this day, it's still the best magazine. It got to be the Garenko Rounds. Now, the reason why I say that is because you are getting your plus recoil control, your accuracy, your plus fire rate, and of course, it actually does help us with your ADS speed. Now, the con about it is it does take a little bit less damage, but this actually is going to be the best magazine for you guys that actually help out just with a long range fight. So, it doesn't actually have like a lot of kick to it, if you guys want to say, for more majority of you guys. So, please, really do please put on the Granko rounds. Now, coming down to the ammunition, 100%, I would at least would say for any. Vanguard Assault Rifle or SMG, you must got to put on your leaked in ammunition, which actually does help us with your bullet velocity. So that means that all your shots can actually get hit and doesn't have no bullet drop off. Now, coming down to the underbarrel, I will 100% say it's up to you guys, but for me, I just don't like to use the M1941 handstock, which actually does help us with your vehicle control and your accuracy. Don't really worry about the cons because this is legit, it's a long range build. 
So that's really just mostly it just for this SCG. Now let's get right into the next one. So the next gun we're going to be talking about is the Kilo 141. Everybody loves the Kilo. Everybody legit loves this gun. Now coming down to the best class setup, I always got you guys, man. So the best muzzle 100% got to be your model fix suppressor. By far, it's going to be the best muzzle for any modern warfare gun because all it does do is help us with your damage range. You need the damage range so to make sure that you can legit can fry anybody from any long distance range. Now coming down to the barrel, it always got to be it's your 19.8 prowler barrel which is by far is the best barrel for the kilo which it just helps us with your damage range your bullet velocity and your recoil control none of these other barrels can actually can help probably the first one if you are probably like a low rank tier so if you don't have like your gun maxed out for the kilo probably put on the first barrel but you are still going to be decreasing yourself on not having this the monolithic suppressor so if you are trying to use the kilo as i give you guys this build and if you don't have it ranked up, really do go on a plunder. It actually will help you guys out if you actually do pop a double X weapon XP. Coming down to the underbell category, I would at least would say is the best underbell is going to be is your commando foregrip. This what helps out with any of the modern warfare guns. Where it actually just help us with your aiming stability and your recoil stabilizer. Now, coming down to the magazine itself, it's up to you guys on which magazine you guys think is better. I don't 100% necessarily say please do not run the 100 round drum kilo. It's really no point. Probably the 50 is okay if you are playing the trios and quads, but at least everybody, to me, always rock around is the 60. It actually does decrease your ADS speed, but remember, this is a long-range kilo build. So, majority of your ADS speed on the Modern Warfare guns are a little bit kind of slower compared to your Vanguard guns. This is only 10 attachments, and you can put all 10 attachments on them. Now, for the optic, I will 100% say it's up to you guys on which one you guys would rather use, but I don't know a lot of people always like the Rocket Stud combo, um, Hollow Sight. Or they actually would like the Rockets to be okay. But to me personally, I like the Rockets to be okay. This actually is really good for Rebirth and Caldera. So legit, please rock the VLK. It helps you out a lot of times, especially it's the best optic for both different types of map. So the next gun we're going to be talking about is the NZ-41. Now, everybody likes the NZ. To me personally, I don't really like this gun, but I've been hearing about it on how it has legit zero recoil after certain buffs as it came down to it. And I got to see best build for you guys. Now, coming down to the muzzle, I will 100% say as always, will you please Please, really do put on the MX Silencer. It helps you out a lot. It's really no point to put on the FA Stabilizer, which I know some of you guys are probably saying, well, it actually helps us with your accuracy and your damage range. But you still want the best of both worlds, which actually does help out a lot with the pros with the MX Silencer. Now, coming down to the barrel, I really don't understand this little comparison, but I do think in the nearest future, they actually might nerf this, which is actually going to be is the Burst Barrel. Now, the reason why I say you might want to put on the Burst Barrel because you actually can turn it um, change it my fault to a fully automatic which you uh, if you guys know how to like swap from select to fire legit just look on your d-pad you legit can find it on how you can do it but legit you can swap it from a burst to a fully automatic and you're still getting the best pros for it which actually does help us with your high accuracy and controllable which is actually kind of like a recoil control for the modern warfare and the cold war guns and it actually does help us with your damage range so by far i think the burst barrel is going to be the best one for you guys now coming down to the optic like i said for me i play rebirth a lot it's up to you guys on what type of optic for but for the best one i'm gonna tell you guys again use the g16 now coming down to the stock 100 percent for the nz it's a little bit kind of weird and this is why i don't kind of like the nz because it's too many good stocks is there's a lot of good stocks for this one but i would probably would have to say you gotta rock it's the epac stock you gotta rock it because it actually does have a your rico control your rico recovery your accuracy and your flush resistance now the down part about it is it's just your movement speed and your aiming down sight speed but we really don't care about this because this actually is a good long range build for it now coming down to the perk category like i said all your perks ones are going to be totally different whenever it does come down to the sorry food so you really got to change this up a lot but i will 100 say the best perk for you guys it gotta be it's the brace perk and the reason why i say it because that should just help us with your intel fire recoil which actually does help out a lot of your recoil control while shooting so by far it's going to be the best perk now the, for the perk two categories like i said it's always still got to be fully loaded that's one thing about these vanguard of sorry foods. if you want the best perks man you gotta have it that fully loaded especially if you guys are coming back from like the gulag coming down from redeployment 
you always got to have is a fully loaded class. So in the Vanguard category, you must always have it on. Now, for the rare grip, it's up to you guys. But for me, I would legit would rather say you have the Rockets just the book grip. The reason why I say that is because your leather grip is not going to be as good for this one because you're still going to have a little bit more kick to the gun. But I would at least would just say it's the stipple grip is going to be best for it because you're always going to get your recoil recovery and your intel fire recoil control. Kind of like the same thing as the brace perk, but you still want to have one of both of these perks on. So coming down to the magazine, I actually been seeing a lot of people as been saying, but you got to rock is the 50 round magazine, which actually does help us with your plus fire rate. Your recoil control and your accuracy kind of reminds me of your Gorenko rounds, but it doesn't actually take away your damage. So the 50 round is going to be the best magazine for the NZ. Coming down to the ammunition, there's always still got to be your lethal perk for your blip velocity. And for the underbarrel, it's still got to be your hand stop for your recoil control and your accuracy. All right, you guys. So now we got it's an SMG, and everybody knows about it's the Blixen SMG. Now, I'm going to just tell you guys, man, the Blixen is really good. Some of you guys are probably saying it has a little bit of kick to it, but I'm going to give you guys the best build for it so you guys don't have a lot of kick to it just to try to help you guys out since i know you most of you guys just want some smgs and assault rifles and i gave you majority of the assault rifles but we still got more to come along in this video so coming down to the muzzle you still got a rocket your recoil booster which actually does have your plus fire rate now the best barrel and i'm gonna tell you guys what legit i think it's the best barrel for you guys now it always gotta be it's the last barrel now the reason why i say it gotta be the last barrel is because you are getting your recoil control you actually accuracy your bull velocity now you gotta think about it this though this has got to be the best bro for the recoil control especially kind of help out with your little recoil most of you guys are probably saying well why not the third barrel because it actually does help with your damage and your damage range but this is actually going to be the best barrel for its close range, not for its long range and its far range type of fight. This is basically the best build for its close range build. So if you want like a long range type of SMG build, I would probably say you got to rock it's the last barrel. Legit, it helps me out a lot. I actually have like a brand new build. It's like a video just coming along with this one. So I will 100% say if you want like a best Blixen build, this rock is the long range build. It actually will help you out. It actually still feels the same if you are rocking the short barrel. Now, coming down to the optic now, this is actually a little bit going to be different since I'll be presenting you guys for the assault rifle type of build. But for the SMG category, it's up to you guys. But for me, I like that rock is just like reflector. If you are looking for like some different type of optics for the SMG, you could probably rock as the night on model. I think it's another one. Um, you could actually rock is the basic iron sights for it, which is actually not pretty bad for the Blixen as well. But if you are rock, if you want like a good iron sight one, rock is the C. Uh, the CZA, my fault. You have to rock this one. You are getting a little bit of your ADS speed, but it's actually pretty good for his iron sights of how it actually does look. But for me, I don't want to do that, so I just like to rock my slight reflector. Just so I can have just an extra um, 10 plus attachment. So, coming down to the stock, 100%. If you are looking for like a good recoil control for the stock, I would probably say you might want to rock your remove stock, which you are getting a little bit plus more of your movement speed, but it has to be, it's going to be it's your second stock. And the reason why I say that is because you are getting your plus ADS speed and your plus movement speed, but you it does say a little bit of loosening up your recoil control, but don't really don't worry about that because I got us a little bit more um, better attachments along the way that actually can kind of help that out. Coming down to the perk category, like I said, every perk one selection is going to be different for everybody so the first perk we're going to have to use is going to be your nerve of steel and this is i said again it's going to be good for you because you are getting your accuracy in your vehicle control while taking damage but remember this is only going to be good if you already see the person in sight aiming down sight and as he's shooting at them this is not going to be good if you are like getting shot in your back your side you're not seeing them whatsoever so the Nerve of Steel perks is going to be the best one. Coming down to the perk 2 category, it's a little bit going to be different for the SMGs, but 100% for your perk 2, you always got to rock it. It's going to be it's your quick perk. Coming down to the rear grip, it always got to be... Maybe it's going to be a little bit different for you guys now, but I would probably would say you might have to rock it's going to be is... I think it's at... Wait. Or is it, oh, here it is. It's your simple grip. Because I was like, where the hell is it? Your simple grip is going to be the best one for it. I would say you might want to rock it your leather grip, but you are going to have as a quick ADS speed with this build. And I'm going to tell you guys in a little bit on why I say it's going to be the best one. Now, coming down to the magazine, you might want to just actually rock it your Gorenko 54 round magazine. Because you are getting your recoil control, your accuracy, your headshot damage, your aim is down sight speed, and especially it's the biggest mag in the gun. Well, besides the 72 round magazine but you don't get nothing besides just 
the max capacity of the ammo. So I would really just say for quads, trios, and especially solos, you might want to rock this a 54 round magazine. It helps you out a lot, especially ammunition 100%. You got to rock this, of course, with your LinkedIn perk for your blood velocity. And for the course with the underbarrel, it's going to be your hand stop for your recoil control and your accuracy. So basically, like I said, this is the best build for your ADSB and your recoil control and your accuracy. Legit, I'm telling you, man, this is the best build for the Blixen. Just try it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the next gun we're going to be talking about is the M13. Now, legit, the M13 has always been like everybody's fan favorite gun. Now, I'm going to be giving you guys the best attachments coming down to it. So, of course, for all the modern warfare guns, like I always say, man, the monolith is suppressed. It's going to be the best barrel. Coming down to the barrel category, I will 100% say the best barrel for the M13 is got to be your Tempest Marksman barrel, which is kind of like the um, the Kilo for his Prowler barrel, but you are going to rock like it. It's the same, basically, same pros, same cons. So, legit, the Marksman barrel is going to be the best one for you guys now coming out to the optic like i said it's up to me but i still just think the vlk is going to be the best option most of the time especially for like different type of guns i don't like the rockets the same optic because it doesn't feel the same but for me i think the vlk is going to be the best option for the m13 maybe some pop is going to probably rock the gi mini reflex it really doesn't matter i just think the vlk is going to be the best optic for both of the maps that you play on now the magazine 100 percent is still going to be it's your 60 pound magazine unless if you want a little bit more ads speed and a little bit more movement speed you can rock us to 50 but it's really no point of rocket is the blackout magazine because you are getting 30 rounds and you don't want to limit yourself on ammo. So I would just say the 60 round magazine. And of course with the underbarrel we got is going to be using is the commando foregrip for your recoil stabilization and your aim stability. For the next gun we're going to be talking about is the Graw 5.56. Everybody loves the Graw. Everybody likes how it is, man. So we're going to be getting down into it. Now, like I always say, man, the best muzzle is still going to be Jamal Fix Oppressor. For the barrel, we still got it's the best barrel for the Graw. And I still gonna say it to this day it's gonna be your tempest 26.4 arch angel bro which like i said it's like the tempest uh marksman barrel for the m13 and the and the kilo for the prowler barrel so this is legit gonna be the best bro for the graw optic is still gonna be is gonna be I would probably say for the optic, it's really up to you guys on which, if you guys want to rock as an optic. But for me, I don't think you really need an optic for the Graw. If you are on PC, you can see from like a far distant range, depending on what type of monitor or what, like, whatever type of refresh rate your monitor can actually can hold. But for the console people, I'm going to just help you guys out, man. You probably want to rock as your hollow sight, which is, which I think is actually going to be good for the Graw because the Graw actually has limited to low recoil. For the gun coming down to the magazine you still want to rock this 60 round magazine and of course with the underbarrel we got us the commando foregrip for your recoil stabilization and your aim stability all right you guys so now we got us the modern warfare bison so i already know it's going to be a little bit different because we got us a modern warfare smg compared to a vanguard smg now legit for the muzzle it's still going to be your model fix suppressor for your damage range for the barrel it's up to you guys but for me i like the rockets the 8.7 steel which actually just help us with your damage range your bullet velocity and your vehicle control kind of like the same thing with the modern warfare assault rifles um it's really up to you if you want to rock as a magazine for this gun but i don't necessarily say you need to because the basic round is 60 i think and the biggest magazine is an 84 so it's up to you guys if you want if you want to rock but i think a 60 round is really good for like trios quads and all the other game modes so you don't if you don't want to rock an 84 round you can swap it out for like a different attachment which i'm going to be give you guys so the for the laser you want to rock as your course your attack laser for your aiming down sight speed and your aiming stability for the stock 100 percent will probably Probably rock is going to be your Corvus skeletal stock, which actually just help us with your aiming down sight speed and your aiming walking movement speed. Now, coming down for the rear grip itself, or if you guys want to rock a perk, I would probably say for the perk, rock is going to slide a hand. But if you guys don't want it to, you guys see a rock is your simple grip, which actually just help us with your aiming down sight speed and your sprint to fire. They all do sound good and all do sound the same, but I, for me, I would like the rock is to slide a hand. All right, you guys, so the last gun we're going to be talking about is the Sten SMG here in Warzone. That's going to be like a different type of build that you guys normally don't see. Now, coming down to the muzzle, it's still going to be your recoil booster for your plus fire rate for the barrel category there's really no good barrel besides the rapid barrel but especially for like a slow recoil type of range or is especially good for like it's long range we're probably ain't gonna rock a barrel for the stin um for the optic for me i would still would rather would like to use the slight reflector but for the stand i really don't like is the iron sight so i would probably say if you don't care about the optic just rock is like a normal default but for me i'm going to be putting on this a slight reflector just to help you guys out coming down for the stock we're going to be rocking to 
one in part um stock which actually does help us to spread the fire and your plus movement speed now coming up for the perk one we're going to be using is your acrobatic perk for your plus movement speed and your sprint the fire coming up for the perk two category we're going to be rocking of course going to be your quick for your sprint the fire speed Coming up for the rear grip, we're going to be using is going to be a simple grip. Where says how about your recoil recovery and intel fire recoil? This is actually going to be the best for the stand because you are not using because you're not using a barrel for the stand itself. And especially, I'm going to be explaining the magazine as of right now. Now, for the best magazine, and I'm going to tell you guys why I say this is going to be the best one, but it's only going to be good for like certain game modes. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys, you might want to actually rock this to Grand Call 36 round magazine. Not saying it's not good or nothing, and not saying the 50 rounds not worth it, but it's going to be worth using the Grand Call rounds because the fact is that you're going to be getting your plus recoil control, your accuracy, your plus move speed, your aim and outside speed, and your plus fire rate. The bad thing about it is going to be it's your 36 rounds. Now, compare that if you are playing like a big party mode like trios and quads, man, it's not really worth it, but like solos, trios, maybe maybe quads i mean like i tried it on quads it's really good but you're limiting yourself with ammo when it comes down to the stand coming down to the ammunition we're still going to be rocking of course it's going to be your lifting perk for your plus blood velocity and for the under barrel we're still going to be using is your enhanced style for your recoil control and your accuracy so that's mostly it man hope you guys did enjoy today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one